Hi, my name is Steven and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking to you about why I started a productivity and personal growth channel. So I wanted to talk about why I started a YouTube channel based on productivity and personal growth. I really took a long time in figuring out what my channel was going to be about. And this was because there was a lot of things that I could talk about. And I really wanted to find a niche that would suit my lifestyle the best and also give an incredible amount of detail and information based on my experience. And it's something that I really wanted to feel comfortable about talking on a week to week basis. This channel really drew upon past experiences of me writing a book about personal development. That book, along with my growth in personal development and productivity in my 20s, led me to the creation of this channel. And based upon those things, I melded it into what this channel is today. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how my book about personal development transferred into a YouTube channel and how I'm using it now to help other people. And here we go. So here are some of the reasons why I wanted to start a productivity and personal growth channel. Number one, the genesis of this started from a book. So in my mid twenties, I wanted to write a book about my experiences growing up as an Asian American child. This, this book was based upon the trials and tribulations of my life. I wanted to convey to the audience all the lessons I learned from an Asian American kid, because I really felt that there was a lack of representation in Asian male authors, and specifically in the realm of Asian males growing up. And this was something that I really want to get my thoughts and ideas out on the topic. So in this effort, I wrote about 40,000 words and it took me about two years to get it into a draft form. I spent the next six months to a year editing the draft, making corrections, and then going back and forth with it. And during the editing process, I realized that I wasn't into it as much anymore. What I liked to do was write certain topics and sections, but when it came down to putting it all together in a cohesive narrative form, I was lost. It took me so long and so many ideas fell apart when I tried to weave all of it together. I wanted to tell a central story, but I found out that it was just many different parts and it didn't really go together well as a story, or at least not one that I can kind of put together. I eventually abandoned the book idea, but I still have the draft manuscript to draw the rich stories from. And so with these rich stories, I wanted to do something with it rather than just sit on my hard drive. And drawing from the experiences of my book, I realized that my YouTube channel could be a way that I retell these stories, but with a different media. And I realized that it was a lot easier and simpler to put these videos together rather than writing a huge book and then processing it and taking years to get to an end product. With a YouTube channel, I could focus everything on a 10 to 15 minute video and then put it out there within a week. So this was the starting point in which this YouTube channel was created. The next point was I wanted to come with an Asian American experience. As the topic of the book was about an Asian male growing up in America, I wanted to convey that same sense of storytelling within the YouTube channel. One of the biggest reasons why I got into personal growth was because of my childhood upbringing. I had many struggles and challenges growing up in America, and I wanted to grow from that experience. And a lot of the setbacks and uncomfortableness that I felt as a child, I wanted to convey to the greater audience. I wanted to give people growing up with the same similar challenges a guideline or a path to figure out how to resolve them. I'm a big advocate of personal growth because of how it helped me through my process to become an adult. And when I was forming this YouTube channel, personal growth underpinned the entire reason for creating this channel. So you may have noticed I haven't talked about my Asian American experience in great detail in the first couple of videos because I wanted to create a general template in the beginning so that audience can relate to me before they get into more of my personal details. So in the future, I'm going to make more tailored videos based on my Asian American experience and personal growth and how that feeds into who I am today. And I'll talk about more things like my previous video on Asian racism. Some of these topics are really near and dear to my heart. And I really want this to be a platform for me to convey some of my personal feelings and opinions. But the majority of my channel will be based upon personal growth and productivity. So the next reason is I wanted to help people with my experiences. Personal growth is extremely hard. It requires immense amount of dedication, time, and patience in yourself. It is not to be taken lightly and it can't be accomplished in a couple of months. So when I started the channel, I really want to give people a guideline or a path that they can follow in their own journey. I really wish as a kid, I found more sources for mentorship and guidance into personal growth. It's definitely easier to follow somebody or take advice from somebody than to try to figure it out through trial and error. And when I was able to get into YouTube in my early 20s, it opened up a huge floodgates of personal growth for me because now I was able to learn different topics in personal growth 
and start working on each part of myself that I want to improve. So in a way, this YouTube channel is really giving back to the community that has fostered my personal growth so much in the past. And for the productivity portion of this channel, my work and hobbies forced me to be very efficient with my time. I needed to be more productive as a result. So during my late 20s, I started to have a lot of commitments. I overcommitted myself on many occasions. And without sufficient time management skills, I wouldn't be able to finish everything that I needed to do. And productivity was something that I only used in my work life, but then I found out that it can be applied to other areas of my life as well. I'll put down in the description box below a previous video on productivity for beginners. This video is just an intro guide into how to be productive. And some of the tips that I used in that video has ultimately become the productivity portion of my channel. As I learned how to be more productive, I realized that it wasn't something that's difficult to do. Anybody can be really productive. It's really just having an open mind and committing to the process. And really what it boils down to is I like to be really efficient and productive during my time. I wanted to give others my sense of excitement when I finish something that's really time efficient or when I'm doing something and I'm able to do more of it. I ultimately want people to be more productive so that they can fulfill whatever they want to in life. And being productive is just a way to manage your time so efficiently that you can be able to do anything that you want to do. From being able to do only one big thing to maybe two or three big things, you're instantly two or three times more productive. You can accomplish more and do more things in your life that you wouldn't otherwise be if you weren't productive. And finally, I wanted my work to last. As someone who realizes that time is really limited on earth, I wanted to leave something for others, like a digital record from all the experiences and knowledge that I've gained. I wanted my experiences to last the test of time and help more people than I could in my one lifetime. The goal is to share everything that I know on my channel. And so in the future, people can look upon my compendium of knowledge. It is one of the only ways I know that I can scale up my knowledge and give it to the mass public. But I do have to count on the fact that the internet's gonna have to be here for a while. And so just like the book, I just wanted a way to document my experiences as I was making them. And really what I was thinking about when that experience was forming. Because that's really the best knowledge that can help people. Because if I know the process in which someone goes through an experience, and I can explain why people think certain things during a process. And that way I can help guide people. Because we all have phases in our lives. And sometimes when you think about something as a child, it's different than when you think about something as an adult. And then when we look back on it, we can see how we grew from those experiences. And basically a video diary is the ultimate way to do so. So those are some of the reasons why I started a YouTube channel focused on productivity and personal development. From the humble beginnings of an Asian American experience, focusing on the challenges and struggles growing up, to ultimately a YouTube channel focused on personal growth and development. That is the journey that this YouTube channel ultimately took to get to its final form. And in the future, I might transform this YouTube channel into something else. And so the key reasons are because I wanted to share my past experiences with other people. I think coming from who I am and the journey and the challenges that I've had to overcome, that I have a very unique position as a storyteller. And I want to tell that story to as many people as I can long after I'm gone. So let me know in a comment down below something that you ultimately did that led to something better. And thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. And I'll see you next time.